What is going on guys? In this video, I am so excited to announce to you what I believe to be the best offensive product I've ever put out on YouTube. And what it is, is it's basically a resource that you're gonna be able to use every single year in Madden. And it's a one-time fee, uh, that's it, to get it. And I'm gonna explain to you a little bit about what it is. All right guys, so basically what it is, and real quick, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe. We upload videos every day that can help you for free get better at Madden 21 or Madden 22 as we're preparing for. And what I've been working on, my big project this summer was to become a better Madden player in the sense of really understanding not only the X's and O's of the game, but also understanding the mechanics of how every single route and every single zone works in this game. And so I've been putting a ton of time into practice mode, learning and studying and really drilling this home. And so I'm really excited to release this guide to you. And basically what it is, is it's going to be a series of concepts that are going to be broken down. I'm also going to teach um, different things in this guide about quarterbacking uh, in terms of how to have better pocket presence, how to read the defense, um, how to uh, deal with pressure, identify blitzers and things like that. So little things that are going to go a long way over the long haul of the game um, has really been what I've been really uh, working really, really hard on. Uh, and we share these concepts in a very interesting way. Um, most guides that you get, they'll say like cover three beater, here it is, or cover two beater, here it is, or uh, money play, here it is. What we're trying to do with this guy is we're trying to say, here's the concept. And the concept might just be a two wide receiver concept, as you see here. It might be a three wide receiver concept. It might be a four wide receiver concept. It might even be a five wide receiver concept. For example, um, one thing we could do with this is we could motion this guy over and we could create a five wide receiver concept. Now, I'm not saying I'd ever call this, but I'm saying now we've got all these verticals and we've got a drag underneath. So everything's, it's a five wide receiver concept to this side of the field, okay? So that's how we tried to break this down, is we tried to give you concepts. So for example, if you're running trips tight in, you can apply three wide receiver concepts, you can apply two wide receiver concepts, you can apply um, all kinds of things. We tried to also talk about compression versus spread. So under center versus shotgun. Uh, things like that that don't oftentimes get covered in depth, we've broken down and we've given you the tools in which you can take these concepts. My real uh, picture of this is you can take these concepts, you can not only apply them to any year of the game, but you can also apply them to any offense in the game. So if you're running five wide, this guide's for you. If you're running goal line, this guide is for you. If you're running spread, this guide is for you. No matter what offense you're running, these route combinations and these route concepts are really designed to help take your offense to a whole nother level. So um, I'm going to be adding to this guide over the course of the next couple weeks. So far, we have already over an hour of material just on two wide receiver concepts. We're gonna to continue to expand that. Like I said, we're gonna have uh, two wide receiver concepts, three wide receiver concepts, four wide receiver concepts, and five wide receiver concepts. And what we'll do at the end of it is we're gonna wrap it all together uh, and start talking about how you can add all of these things to your scheme. So if you want to get a jump start on the competition for Madden 22, this is the best thing you can do for your offense right now in the game. And the reason why is because you're putting the building blocks to every single thing you're going to do in Madden 22 right here and right now. You're learning the concepts, you're training your mind to read the concepts. And I want to give you a free sample of what we do uh, in this video. So here's how it's going to work. Again, if you want the guide, um, it's a one-time purchase and it's just 15 bucks. It's in the description. It'll apply for years. And here's the cool part about this. I will be updating this guide every single year. Okay, in off season, this is always going to get updated. It's always going to get tweaked. It's always going to get fine tuned. As I find new route concepts and new route combinations, they will be put into this guide. So it's a one time $15 purchase for something that's going to give you value forever or as long as you're playing Madden. So I hope you take advantage of it. I think it's, it's really truly my favorite product I've ever released. And I think it's going to help a lot of you guys with your offense. It's going to allow you to be a little bit more creative, but still get some really awesome tactics that you can apply to any offense in the game. So 
That being said, here's a sample um, of how it works. So basically what we're gonna do is I've set up the 30, 10, and 10 zone drop cocktail. Uh, this is the basic meta. I do most of everything. I cover everything against uh, Mabel, Match, Cover 2, Man, Blitz, all of the coverages that you're going to see, um, I cover it with that. So what we're going to show you is a short side two by two curl flat concept. It's my favorite concept in the game. Um, it's really simple in, in how we're going to run this and you're going to have a lot of fun with this. It's, I think it's the best two man concept in the game this year because it's so consistent. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the first coverage show. So the first coverage show we're going to go over is Mabel coverage. And all we're going to do is and just forget about everybody on the right side of the screen. We're not worried about those three wide receivers. In essence, what we're doing is we're cutting the field in half from the center. And we have a two wide receiver concept to the left and a three wide receiver concept to the right. So what that might mean is it might mean we run you know, levels to the right. It might mean that we want to run um, something, you know, the combinations are limitless. And we talked about this and that. But, it, you know, you, you could do something like post curl. Um, this is a great opportunity to do something like that. So maybe you have a concept that looks like this. Um, you know, so anyways, all on and on and on. We can do this for hours. But th these are combinations, okay? But I want you to focus in with me on the left side of the field, just that two-man concept. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna run it. I'm gonna show you. So this is uh, cover three Mabel with seam flats. What that means is the purple zone is a seam flat. That's really important. We're gonna come back to that in a second. To the short side of the field, really important. Two wide receivers in a spread formation to the short side of the field, okay? That's what we're doing. That's the concept. So um, at the stamp of the ball, what you're gonna see is we're gonna read curl to flat. So we're looking for our curl not there and so we're going to our flat zone so what that tells me is there's an adjustment the defense has done is they put a seam flat over there to stop the curl route so now let me show you what's going to happen if they put a curl flat zone over on that side in that same zone drop of 10 yards so we're in 30 10 and 10 like we said before so we get this now you've got your two-man curl flat now you got your curl uh, flat zone out there, and he's not going to cover it. As you can see, he swatted it down there, but that's partially because Brady sucks. Um, as far as his pass lead in this game, they really screwed up the, the trajectories. I'm hoping that's a little bit better. Madden 22, I think it will be. Um, and, then, and then obviously you'd use Rodgers and Regs. But anyway, it's right in that little pocket right there. That's what you see. See that? So the curl flat zone gets pulled out is what I'm trying to get at. Um, the other thing that we do is that we test the quarter flat. So we go to cover four, show two. We basically are going to recreate the same concept. Uh, as you can see here, we've created a cover three out of a cover four. Uh, we're going to throw a vertical hook out there just, to, just for fun. And that might mess up my tip. But anyways, let me just show you. Nope, perfect. Quarter flat gets pulled out and our curl, our curl route's open. So what we just experienced was... The zone that can give the curl route the most trouble in the Madden is a seam flat zone, okay? But it's a seam flat zone with a 10-yard drop on it. If it doesn't have a 10-yard drop, it's not going to matter. We're going to show that in a second. But now let me shift gears for just a moment, and let me cover uh, the cover two. So this is cover two now, and I just want to show you how this looks. So cover two, yellow zone doesn't get out there, and as you can see, we're able to pop that for an easy read. Now, um, let me show you cover two in my version of it, which is cover, cover two Mabel. So you get basically a seam flat, you got a vertical hook, you got a deep third, okay? So we got a lot of coverage on that left side. Um, meanwhile, no, this is the short side, it's not the trip side, so a whole other thing we could do on that. But anyways, curl flat read. Now seam flat, that's the adjustment, so now I got to check down to the curl, or to the flat. Now against man coverage, what I can do on this concept, really simple. Uh, again, what we just discovered is the only zone in the game that will stop the, stop the curl route. The only zone in the game that will stop the curl route is the seam flat from the linebacker. Um, they have to be in a 10 yard zone drop, and we'll show that, we'll continue to show that throughout this video. But man coverage for a second, you see that curl gets inside release, low pass, right on the cut, easy read that was shaded inside and underneath man coverage heavy shading of the man-to-man -man coverage. Now let's cover uh, man coverage, but what we're gonna do differently is you're gonna see now we're gonna shade over top. Same thing on the cut, low ball, absolute laser, money, money route against man every time. So now what we need to do is we say, okay, well what's the defense that they can get us with in man-to-man -man coverage? 
Well, the defense that they can get you with in man-to-man -man coverage is if they put that seam flat out there. Remember, we talked about that. We, if they put the seam flat out there, that's problems. So you see here, we got a seam flat. Watch, he goes out. See, he sits there. Now, I can high point it, but that's the only chance I have of completing that pass. Only chance. 10-yard seam flat with man coverage can make that concept hard. So that tells you now, as you're putting your whole play together, on the three wide receiver side, you might want to create a concept that can beat that same coverage. Okay? So now what we do is we're going to shift out of this coverage shell, and we're going to go and we're going to start talking about match defense, and we're going to start talking about default zone drop. So that's why I really think the value is in this guide is we try to be really in-depth with this. We try to really unpack everything and give you a really deep, high-level understanding of what the route concepts are and how the defense can counter that, um, which is going to help you because then you're going to know, oh, well, they're going to do this or they're going to do that if I do this. And that's where um, my favorite part of Madden is. So, anyways, first and foremost, we're going to talk about cover three match. So cover, this is cover three match. And I'm going to set that curl flat concept to the left. You see, curl flat. Watch, seam flat gets sucked out. And that is an absolute dot. So right there, we just saw a major discrepancy. A seam flat zone got sucked down. Why did it get sucked down? Because they didn't have a zone drop on. Why did it get sucked down? Because they didn't have zone drops on. So the only way they can get a zone out there is if they have their zone drops on. Let me show you. Um, let me shift back over to 335 for a second and show you the cover three sky. This is a curl flat zone. Now, curl flat zone is a solid zone to stop a curl route, but watch. See how it gets stuck to the outside, and I can throw a low point to the inside? That's because of the flat zone, or the flat route. Okay? That's because of the flat route. So then you get something like this. Okay, well, you're going to do that. Then I'm going to go cover three, and I'm going to put a, a, a hard flat on that same side. So now let's watch that concept. It's a really good try, but it's not going to work. Why? Because the flat zone still pulls the zone out. It does not that the zone is playing that route. It's that the zone is getting pulled out because of the grid feature in Madden. And that's one of the things we really try to hammer in on this guide. So if you want to learn about that, that all is in the description. The last coverage I want to run, or two more coverages for today. The first one is match coverage. And what you're going to see in this match coverage is match coverage does a terrible job against curl routes. Match coverage typically will basically be like shaded up man um, in terms of how it actually plays the route and why that matters because you can throw curl routes all day against shaded up man and you can throw curl routes all day against shaded up uh, or um, cover four quarters. Now let's go over Tampa 2, last coverage of the day. Tampa 2 stock does a decent job, I will say that. Um, you'll see this vertical hook, but if you look at this, now you've just got your flat. Okay, so that's really the only other zone that can really mess with this. And we talk about this a lot in the guide. This is an example of something where, okay, now you can unpack a third concept or a third thing you can do, which might be to drag the X receiver. You see that vertical hook gets pulled up and now I can throw that, that drag. That's an option. Um, the other thing really quick about this, if I really wait on this curl, you will see this vert hook um, see how when and it didn't happen for me right there, but basically when a receiver comes into the grid of a vertical hook, it can make that it, it can basically open up the curl. So that's where again three wide receiver concepts. So what it might be is it might be slant, um, slant, something like this is a really good example. This is um, very similar to some a concept from Tripside End, but basically this is what we've got here. And now what you're going to see is that slant is going to pull. See, watch him pull and okay. We can throw the slant. So that's an example of kind of the uh, elaboration that we can go on as well and some of the things we can add to the concept as we start putting this all together. But the core concept, there's only two things that can stop it. Cover to stock. Um, and what I mean by stock is they can't set zone drops. And really important, they can't change this guy. He has to be in the vertical hook. So if they do that, which is put him in a flat zone and then put a vertical hook over there, now watch the defense. Different grid system. So I can now throw this down in the way, and as you can see, I'm dotting the core, I'm, I'm beating the coverage. Um, so that is some of the that's the level of detail that I've tried to put in this ebook for you, in this guide. Um, if you want to get it, I really recommend it. It's very 
um, so much uh, broken down so that you can understand it. It's what I tried to do. As you can see there, we can still pop that curl flat concept in. It's just gunslinger is a little bit more necessary on a cover two. Really, the only thing they can do is run a 30 yard or a 10 yard um, seam flat zone drop, which opens up other things for the offense. And we go over that in the concept guide. But again, that is the curl flat concept uh, broken down. So if you want to get my uh, my concept um, my concept guide, not sure what to call it necessarily. I think it's the complete guide to concepts is what I'm thinking. But um, like I said, it's going to update. We're going to update it every single time. We're working on working through right now. We've got a lot of content up there. And like I said, it's going to continue to update. We're going to continue to add new route concepts into this. This is basically an encyclopedia. It's a, it's a document that really can explain and unpack for you what you need to do to be successful on the offensive side of the ball. So it's a one it's it's a one time fee of fifteen dollars to get it. I hope to get it. I think it's really good, and um, I, I it's something that I really wish I would have had uh, when I was kind of learning this game. So thanks for watching. If you want to get it, there's a link in the description.